A broken arrow is the Pentagon's phrase for a serious nuclear weapon accident that could threaten the public. According to the Pentagon, there have been 33 broken arrows in the history of our nuclear program. That's the official number. But I feel very confident in saying it's a lot more than 33. There is the ball of fire. It has reached a point one mile above the Earth. This technology has constantly been on the verge of slipping out of our control. The very first test of a nuclear device in 1945 in the desert of New Mexico could have ended catastrophically. J. Robert Oppenheimer, who was the scientific director of the Manhattan Project, got worried someone might try to sabotage it. So he asked a young scientist, a Donald Hornig, to climb to the top of the shot tower, a hundred foot steel tower, and quote, babysit the bomb. You got a young scientist atop a hundred foot steel tower in a totally flat desert. Uh, it was a deeply philosophical experience. Now while Donald Hornig was up there, an incredible lightning storm uh, occurred. There's no doubt that if lightning had struck that tower or near that tower, that device would have most likely detonated and this young scientist would have been the first victim of the nuclear era. An atomic bomb breaks loose from a mounting shackle in a B-47 jet over Florence, South Carolina, plummets to earth, causing a sensational freak accident. I got a document through the Freedom of Information Act that lists more than a thousand accidents and incidents involving nuclear weapons just between 1950 and 1968. Palomares, Spain. During an aerial refueling, the tanker and the bomber uh, had a collision and it dropped four hydrogen bombs over Spain. Damascus, Arkansas. A workman drops a tool in a missile silo. The tool hits the missile causes a fuel leak and on top of the missile is the most powerful nuclear warhead the United States has ever built. Maintenance work is being done on an atomic bomb and the worker doesn't realize that one of the pins in the plug of the testing equipment is bent. When he plugs uh, the pin into the atomic bomb, it fully arms the bomb and nearly detonates the bomb, which would have destroyed a large part of the Florida coast. So. Although a beautiful sight, this swirling, boiling mushroom cloud is certain death. One of the problems with complex technological systems is you never know where a potentially catastrophic problem can begin. Our principal nuclear bomber is the B-52, and we haven't built a B-52 since John F. Kennedy was president. That was a long time ago. And what concerns me most is the infrastructure the wiring, the cables, computers in our launch control centers that rely on 8-inch floppy disks. We're very good at creating complex technological systems, not as good at managing them, and not very good at all when something goes wrong with them.